Okay, now let's take the situation that we want to machine um, the hemisphere from above. So at first we have to switch to a constant Z mode. Now the, the tool axis is parallel to the Z axis. If you calculate the tool path, you see it. And if we start the simulation for a short moment, you see the tool is coming from above. But we will get a problem with shallow areas here. So what does that mean? If you look here at the bottom, we have a steep wall here and it slightly goes over into a flat area here on the top. And remember we have a, a fixed Z level strategy here, a, a constant Z. Uh, so the stop over orientates um, at the Z axis. And that's why the step over value increases here on the top. When you look at the bottom, it is very homogenic till we get perhaps to this point here. So what can we do to correct this? The easiest way would uh, surely be to machine from here to perhaps this point and make the rest in a second operation. And that's what we want to do now. Uh, go here to the options to surface path and now activate the angle range. Um, what did we say before? Um, we only want to machine now this area here. So let's uh, choose machine outside slope angles. Because uh, the angle we select now, the, the slope angles we select now, uh, they are lying uh, from here from the top, from zero degree to this point here. And let's choose 30, 30 degree perhaps. Okay. Okay. That's our result we get now. And this area here on the top is outside the machining range now. And the step over value from here to the last true path line is more or less homogenic now. But for this example it's okay. So how do we get the free area machined now? Um, let's copy this operation at first. Um, we hide the links here. Okay, then go into the options dialog on the surface path again. And remember, this is a constant Z uh, motion. And the easiest thing is to get um, the two path lines um, parallel to the Z axis now is to choose the parallel method. But um, we don't want to machine the whole area, so we go to angle range again. And now we want to machine between the slope angles from 0 to 30 degree. Okay. So this is what we get then. And if we look at the both two paths now, we see that we machined the whole hemisphere. We have no problem now with the shallow areas I mentioned at the beginning. And this could be a solution.